Okay, good morning. Welcome to Grade Math Number 120. Grade Math Number 120. So this is problem number 13 from the 1986 American Junior High Math Exam. Yep. And this one gave you a little bit of trouble today. The question on this problem was um, to find the perimeter of the polygon. And actually it's interesting on this one because the choices are 14, 20, 28, 48, and cannot be determined. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. What did you What did you think the answer I was? I couldn't figure it out. Oh, you couldn't figure it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's all right. So, um, well, tell me, give me some thoughts about this problem. Then. Well, so you have this forward and part here. It would be a lot simpler if it's just a six by eight rectangle. Yeah, it sure would be a lot simpler if it was just a you six just by eight rectangle. Draw in this part. Yeah, that's a great thing to like, think. And these parts are kind of mirror images of each other. They're the exact same. They're the exact same because this is the same. That part Why? because it's the exact same because this starts from this point mm -hmm. and goes over to here and it's this line starts from this point and goes over to the end. Okay. And what makes them the same? Mm, they um, maybe it's just they go the same distance. Okay, yeah, how do you know that? Well, There's something special about this figure that well, helps you know that. Because you have you have this rectangle missing. These lines form a rectangle. Ah, they form a rectangle. Okay, that's awesome. So that means these two parts are the same as those two. Uh -huh. So it's the perimeter is actually sa the same. It's just a six by eight rectangle. Interesting. The perimeter of that is twenty eight. Very good. Yeah. So there you go. So it was a really good thought to say it would be a lot easier if we knew if this was a rectangle. Yeah. And then you drew that in and you noticed that we had a rectangle here. So we had it's all these right angles. Yeah. I mean this is parallel to that, mm -hmm. and that's parallel to that. Makes a rectangle. So it makes a rectangle. Okay. High five. Good work. These are actually pretty challenging problems. And uh, I'm glad, glad you were able to work through this one.